everybody, welcome back to the channel. I just woke up and saw that we got Resolve 20.2 and it comes with some incredible features. So first one that is probably very important to a lot of people who shoot with DJI Ronin. So we can now finally decode ProRes RAW natively in DaVinci Resolve. So that's very important. That's very impressive because now we don't need to pre-convert or debayer the ProRes RAW to other codecs like ProRes 4444 or anything else in a different software. So that's amazing. And the next feature that I'm quite excited about is the AI Cinematic Haze. So this is a plugin to create mist and haze and it works scene referred. So it is color space aware. And if you want to know what that means and what other tools are color space aware, just click the link above. It uses the depth map that we already had in DaVinci Resolve. It's just like the old one. It has all of the features like the isolation and the far limit and near limit. You have advanced depth controls like the post processing and it uses this to create a depth map. And then it also adds plugins like the glow the light rays and the fast noise to create one big plugin to create haze. So the next section would be the atmosphere scattering where you can brighten and darken the image to basically create most of the haze. And it also features resolution loss because usually when you look at haze or fog in nature, everything feels a little bit more blurry. So this resolution loss slider comes in handy for creating this kind of effect. It also has light halos, which is basically just the blur plugin built in. So it's a simple blur around highlights, but that one also makes the haze quite believable. The next one would be the light rays. So this is probably not the best picture for that, but I guess you get it. It's the same as the light rays plugin we already had, and it can create incredibly beautiful light rays, but just on the haze itself, not on the entire picture. The next one is the air disturbance, which is similar to the updates for the light rays and glow plugins that we had in the last update. It's basically just fast noise that helps you create a little bit more depth and a little bit more realism. And you can also add some animation to the noise to create some wind to make it more believable. So the plugin uses the internal depth map, but you can also use an alpha channel instead. Benefit of that would be to create the depth map in the node before, either with the depth map plugin or with the haze plugin, and then use the render cache on this node so it runs more smoothly. But you can also pre-render the mat and then re-import it to use it with the cinematic haze plugin. The last feature that I'm quite excited about is about the data burn in and variables. If you don't know already, in Resolve there's a lot of variables that you can use to either show on the screen with the data burn in or use in your render presets to make rendering just more automated. So you could, for example, show the clip name or the camera use, whatever variable is in the metadata. And now with Resolve 20.2, we got new variables for the date and time. So we have date, date US, because the US uses a different formatting. And there's also variables for the time, hour, minutes and seconds. So this is some of the new features. It's of course not all of them. There's way more, but I just wanted to make this video as quick as possible. So in a couple of days, there's the IBC 2025 in Amsterdam, and I'm going to be there on Saturday and Sunday. So if you want to hang out, I'm probably spending a lot of the time at the Blackmagic booth. And also because of IBC, I'm running a discount for all the DCTLs in my store. So with the code IBC 2025, you can get all of the products in my store for 25% off. So this is a limited discount. It's going to expire on the 20th of September. So that's IBC 2025 is the discount code. So yeah, if you're at IBC, I would love to hang out with you guys and have a chat. And until then, see you in the next video.